Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because I am going to take you guys along to actually go see some of my students for the first time in, what has it been now, like two months. I am so excited about it and I can't wait to take you guys along. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Hannah. I am a first year kindergarten teacher right now in Maryland and we haven't been in school since March 13th. We have some really awesome parents at my school, one of which does everything she possibly can to make sure that our school has the resources and our kids have everything that they need in order to be successful. And part of what she does is she actually is in charge of, we have a, like a book nook in my school and she pays for herself a subscription to a book bank where she can go and get like 200 free books a month or something crazy like that. And she fills our book nook. But since our kids obviously are using the book nook, she is now putting together bags of books to send to the kids. So she reached out to me and other teachers and asked if we had any kids that we thought don't really have a lot of books at home or could use some more books to read and she put together little goodie bags for them of books and today I'm actually going to go and pick those up from her house so I'm gonna drive all the way down to my school pick them up from her house so I'm gonna bring those books back to my house and then I'm going to put together little gift bags for all of my students to help them through this time and so that I can go visit each of my kids and I'm really excited about it so today is Wednesday I'm gonna pick up the books today and then I think next week early next week I'm going to try to make the trip down to visit all of my kids so I'm really just so excited about it I cannot wait to see them and it's honestly been getting harder and harder for them I can just tell in our class meetings they're a lot more upset now about school and they've been asking me a lot more now like when are we going back to school like I miss you and stuff like that and we miss coming to school and it's really been sad so I'm really excited to get to go see them I miss them so much and I can't wait so I really want to make this special and perfect so I want to put together bags for each of the kids so I can go make the trip and see all of them so it's about 8 45 in the morning right now so it's pretty early I have some class meetings first today and then this afternoon we're gonna go pick up the books so I will probably talk to you guys this afternoon or you're really gonna see this in like a second or so. Hey guys, so it's now about 12 o'clock. I'm sorry if you're a little bit shaky. The way that I have you set up is like rocking a little bit, but I finally am using my car tripod, which is monumental because I haven't used this thing yet since I bought it. But I am on my way now down to my school to go pick up the books. It's like a 50 minute drive to my school. So it's not really the easiest commute, but this was something that was really important to me. And I am so excited to get to do this for my kids. The lady who's putting this together, she said she would go deliver them if I wanted her to. And which is super sweet of her. But honestly, I'm taking advantage of every opportunity that I get to go see my kids. So I want to do this and actually go see them. I don't know if I'm going to see them again before the end of the year. I don't know how the whole like coming to school pickup thing is going to work for the kids to come get their stuff. There's a chance this might be it so I kind of want to include like some summer things and just like end of the year just goodbye kind of stuff. I know that that's so sad and I don't really want to think about it but that's kind of our reality right now. So I'm on my way. I should be there in about 40 minutes or so and I'll pick up the books and then really I'm just getting back in the car and driving back. So I just picked up the bags of books for my kids. I have two boxes back here with I think six bags and so I asked for six students basically so I didn't get them for all my kids. The lady basically reached out and asked who needed them most so I kind of gave her six kids that I thought could really benefit from them. I am debating on whether or not I want to take the books out of these bags and then just kind of put them as a free for all in my trunk and let all the kids pick from the books when I go visit them or if I'm going to keep the bags together. I have to look through them to kind of see what the best option might be but they're so cute because she put each of them in a bag and then I kind of told her like she asked what the gender of the child was and if they have siblings and if their sibling is a boy or a girl and so she labeled the bags with k-boy one little brother so she picked books based off of their gender and like their interests and stuff and she made these cute little tags with their school's logo on them which I'm not going to show you but then it says let's get reading so they all have different books in them and I'm really excited this is so cute this has so many books in it I feel like my kids are absolutely going to love these they're so sweet and these books are all donated so they're all used but there's some hardcover books in here I don't know that's just really awesome so i took all the books out of the bags and this is all the books that we got for my kids and i'm so excited about it because there's so many different kinds of books and if i said that they had younger siblings she even put in like little kids books and ones with sound and stuff like that so i think what i'm going to do is let the kids pick their books so i'm just going to put them in these bins and kind of separate them either like easy readers big picture books or books for siblings younger siblings so it is now a couple days later it is now monday may 18th and i have a haul of stuff i want to share with you guys for the things I'm going to be taking to my kids along with the books. So in addition to bringing them books, I wanted to give them like little goodie bags for basically end of the year presents because I don't know if I'm going to see them again. I don't really know 
how the whole coming to school and picking up things is going to look so I wanted to take this chance to just give them fun little things that will remind them of school and all the fun times that we had so I picked up some things from Target that I'm going to show you guys and so when I take these to my kids tomorrow I will open my trunk and there will be books for them to pick out and then they'll also take a goodie bag and there's a cute little letter that I'm going to attach to the bag so a couple minutes before I have a meeting to start so I got these two bags from the dollar section they were three dollars each and they have I think eight yeah eight in each of them so this will be what I pack all the stuff in for the kids then I got them some bubbles so they're each going to get a container of bubbles and I thought these were fun because number one summer is coming up and we love bubbles in kindergarten and number two we really like this site called brain pop junior which a lot of schools use it so it's basically if you don't know what it is it's like a website with different educational videos and stuff and like basically little mini lessons it's pretty cool so we love it so I thought this would be fun because you get it like brain pop junior the bubbles pop I thought it was clever and so they're getting bubbles. I'm also going to put a granola bar and I also got juice pouches to put in each of theirs because we love snack time all day long. All we ever did at school was ask, when is it time to eat again? So gotta feed the hungry kids. I also found this in the dollar section which I thought was so cute and I kind of wish that I had gotten more. It's a little booklet of postcards and they have all different um, themes and stuff. This one's the travel one and so inside there's just little blank postcards that are really cute and they say fun things on them for summer and so I'm gonna put these in their bags with a pencil as well I got them I got two packs of pencils to include and I'm going to tell them to write a postcard to someone that you haven't seen in a while and I thought this was fun because number one it will help practice their writing but number two with us being in quarantine they probably haven't seen a lot of family members or friends that they are used to seeing so I thought that would be kind of a fun activity for them to do so they will each get one blank postcard I also got two boxes of band-aids because it was another thing that we loved at school was all day long we would ask I have a bruise can I go get a band-aid or I have a red mark on me can I get a band-aid we just we love the band-aids. I also love these erasers. I'm giving them each an eraser basically to remind them that it's okay to make mistakes. You can always try again and erase it. I think that's everything. So I'm going to put these bags together and then these will go in the back of my car along with the books. And so I will show you my bags as I'm working on them and when they're finished. These are the bins that I put together of books for the kids to pick out from. So I have two bins that say pick one so that they know just to pick one book from each bin. So this bin has hardcover books and then this bin has some more um, paperback books and like coloring books and just like little books like that. And then the middle bin says pick one for your little sister or brother. We were also given a whole bunch of like children's books, like little kid books with the fun sounds and some have puppets and pop-up things. And so we are allowing them to pick, if they have a little sister or brother, they can pick a book for them too so that they can be reading because it's super important to start reading at a young age. These three bins are going to go in the back of my car and then I'm going to put the gift bags and I also have a poster that I need to go make.
excited, so here is the finished product. We have all of our bins to pick from. I have our sign back here with some balloons hanging. In here I just put some fun little photo props like graduation stuff so the parents can take pictures of them if they want to since they're graduating kindergarten. And then I also put a little hand sanitizer in here. I don't have any pumps at my house, but I am stopping at my classroom in between um, taking runs to the kids' houses, so I'm gonna grab a pump when I get there for the rest of the kids because I feel like it's easier. And then up top, we just have some fun little streamers, so I think it's so cute and I'm so excited for them to see it. Good morning, guys. So it is now the next day. It is about 9.20 in the morning and I am about to get ready to get onto my class meeting. I have that this morning at 9.30 and then I have a small group meeting and then I get to leave and go start visiting my kids and go to my classroom. So it's going to be a super fun day. I'm so excited about all of the things that I get to do today. I have a whole list of things that I'm getting for my classroom when I go in because I only have 30 minutes and then from there I'm going to start going and seeing all my kids. So my car's already packed like you guys saw. Everything should be ready to go. So yeah, we're gonna have a great day. So I'm gonna get on these meetings and then I will catch up with you guys when we're all done. So it's now about 12.30. I've already hit a couple of my kids' houses and it has been so cute and so much fun to see them. I think I visited three so far and I have to be at my school at one. So I'm gonna do one more before I go to my school. And it's been so much fun. They've come out and they've been giving me like little drawings and school pictures and stuff, which has been so sweet. I've gotten to see a friend that I haven't really seen much this whole time, which was so cute. And they've been loving the little presents and even my student who broke his arm and had to have surgery um, he came out I wasn't sure if he was gonna come out or not or if it would just be his mom but he came out and he was excited and he was so happy and I don't know it was just so sweet so I'm having a blast doing this I'm so happy that I did it and so I'm gonna hit one more house before I go into school and then I'm so excited to go to school and get stuff out of my classroom and just see my classroom in general this has been awesome and I'm it's just putting the biggest smile on my face so can't wait to go see some more kids let's go see one more before we go to school It's now about 2.15. I just finished up in my classroom. I have everything packed in my car. I am so hot and sweaty. I had to drag it all the way around the building because I just put everything outside of my classroom, like I'm using the outside door, so that I didn't have to waste time going to and from my car. But then I had to take everything from the outside of my building all the way around to the parking lot and put it in my car. So here's what my car looks like. I have that stuff. And then the back has some bins and stuff. And then my stuff for my kids are still back there. So I now have a couple more kids to go to. I think I have about five or six left. So I'm going to call the next family, tell them that I'm coming, and then go see them. I am home now. My family actually just had dinner, so just finished up having tacos. And I wanted to quickly, before I end this video, share with you some of the cute things that some of my kids gave me today when I went and visited them. One of the things that I got was this retractable lanyard, and it says, you've been such a great teacher that I wish I could hang around with you for another year. So that's so cute. And this little sweetheart that gave this to me is the cutest little thing ever. And then some other kids made me some art and pictures. I'm not going to show them all because they do have names on them. I'll show you one of the little pictures, but the other ones have names on them that I don't really want to share. So super cute little things, a letter, another little thank you card, and then another little girl gave me a hand sanitizer gel because that's what gifts have turned into these days. And then another little boy gave me his school picture, which is just the cutest little thing. And he is so sweet. And one thing about seeing my kids today that I really didn't think about was that they honestly have gotten so much bigger. Like this little boy in this picture, he's so tall now. It's crazy. But all of the kids have gotten taller. But just specifically him, when he walked out of his house, I was like, oh my gosh. Like he grew so much. So it was so cute to see them all. And I'm so happy that I got to see them. I wish I could do this every week for them, but it's just not really doable with my schedule, number one. And then number two, how far I live from them. So it was so fun though. And I had a great time seeing them. And I hope that they all had a great time seeing me. And that it brightened their day and brightened their quarantine a little bit so I'm very happy about that but so I think this video is long enough now I'm gonna go ahead and edit it and upload it for you guys so I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I had so much fun making it and if you are not already subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe so that you can watch future videos that I post I love posting teacher vlogs and since I am moving soon to a new school in a new city I am going to be having some really fun setup videos with my new classroom so that will hopefully be coming in the near future but thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will talk to you next time. Bye!